Hi all. Today I'm going to take a session on cache memory, which is a small lecture. So in the previous lecture, we have studied the memory unit of a computer, which includes RAMs, ROMs and everything. So now we are going to study about a new memory that is called as cache memory. So before moving on to the cache memory, first let's start with a real life scenario. Think of a study room of yourself which has a bookshelf which contains all the books that you study for the engineering studies. Normally the study table would be empty in the first day of class. Think like your semester has started. After the first day of class you come home and enter your study room. What you normally do is you take the necessary book from the shelf and will be keeping the book in the study table for studying purpose. And you know that the semester books will be frequently used. So whatever subjects you are studying frequently for the semester, those books you will keep in the table instead of taking it always from your bookshelf. So that will save your time. So that is the concept that we apply for the cache memory also. We all know RAM is the fastest memory because it is more closer to the processor. So to improve the speed again, we introduce a cache memory in between the RAM and processor for storing the frequently used operations for processing. So if the processor wants to do the operation, it won't have to access the RAM. Instead, it can directly get it from the cache memory, which saves a lot of memory access time. So cache memory it is a fast and it's a small memory. It doesn't have a huge memory space. It is a small memory. It stores frequently used data operations. Another important thing is cache memory is more closer to the CPU than RAM, which improves the memory access time. 